What's up ladies and gentlemen, I have a very special video for you guys today and it is the iOS 7.0.1, iOS 7.0.2, iOS 7.0.3 and of course iOS 7.0.4 jailbreak tutorial and this is one of my first tutorials, well technically it's my second tutorial so cut me some slack if I'm not the best at say camera quality or something like that but I will do my best and I'm very good at explaining things so let's get started shall we? Okay, so you will be needing this thing right here, which is your USB connector. Then, of course, you will need a device running iOS 7. In this case, it is an iPhone 4. Alright, so go ahead and connect your device to the computer and leave it there because at this moment, we will not be using it. So, let me go ahead and explain a few things. So, according to the Evasion team, this is not the most stable thing they've ever released, so... If you want to wait for an update, because you are not a risk taker, then go ahead, wait, click off this video. But if you are a risk taker and you feel like getting jailbreak, and I know there's plenty of people out there who have successfully managed to jailbreak their device, go ahead and click on one of these links, especially this one right here, which is where it says Windows or Mac OS X. And if that link does not seem to work for you, then there are these links. But before I get to the links themselves and how to do it, I want to give you some requirements. So it's gonna take approximately 10 to 15 minutes. They say five minutes, that's not necessarily true for this one. All right, you're gonna need a Windows computer running at least Windows XP, and of course a Mac OS X device or uh, computer running 10.6, which is the minimum, and Linux, which I really don't care about. Okay, you're gonna need iTunes installed, mostly because you need to back up your device because once I said it's not the most stable thing in the world, so you should of course have your all your photos and videos and messages and all that uh, backed up to A, your computer, or B, to iCloud, and computer for me works a lot better. Then you're gonna need obviously a device running iOS 7.0, that's just stupid, and as I mentioned before, the USB cable. Now, the thing about this is, if you updated your iPod or iPhone or iPad over the air, which means you went into settings and you click that update button, this is not going to work, properly at least. You might get stuck in a place where your device won't turn on, it just shows the Apple logo, so on and so forth. So, go ahead, download iOS 7.0.4 onto iTunes and restore your device from there. And if you want, I highly suggest it, you should probably restore your device just like I have this nice and restored over here so things go as properly as possible. Also I would like to mention the fact that many Cydia tweaks are not compatible with your device so if you don't want to get stuck in safe mode or something like that then don't go ahead and install every single Cydia tweak you've ever heard about on my channel because most of them probably don't work yet. So enough chit chat let's get to the jailbreak tutorial itself. So from here on out, you are going to click on the Windows button. It's a nice big blue button with a bunch of uh, amazing devices I wish I had um, above it. So it's going to bring you to megaupload.com where it's going to give you this. Instead of clicking upload, you should click download. And from there, this little thing will download. And this little pop-up right here will uh, appear. You can click save file if you know what you're doing, but open file with Windows Explorer is probably your best option. All right, so it's open. Now you need to extract Evasion 7 and click extract all extract and voila that should happen relatively fast and a new file or a windows explorer should open up close out the other one maximize this one and right click on evasion 7 you can go on to read me and read all the instructions but you got me with me so you really don't need to do that all right run as administrator that is completely necessary so none of your antivirus things decide to block all right from here on out click yes and evasion should launch itself if you have any antivirus software installed click allow make sure you do that otherwise this will not work out properly once evasion has been launched you should see welcome evasion 7 is an untethered jailbreak for ios 7.0 which basically means you don't need to connect your device to the computer every single time you want to reboot it all right my device iphone 4 cdma so on and so forth okay so moment of truth go ahead and make sure this is connected and hit jailbreak now this is one of the simplest jailbreaks I've ever seen because it simply allows you to click jailbreak unlike Red Snow which makes you enter DFU mood and so on and so forth. And then uh, another jailbreak that's tethered came out. So many problems with the other ones. Evasion always seems to work out the best and it's just awesome. So there you go. The first thing you're going to see is retrieving remote package. So basically it is retrieving all the data necessary in order to jailbreak it. Now it says uploading jailbreak data. From here it is transferring the information necessary from your computer to your device 
which is right here, which is my device, which made no sense. Oh well. Alright, let's keep this going. So let's see how long it's going to take. I'm going to try not to cut anything out of this video, but if the video ends up getting too long, then I'm afraid I'm going to have to. I would like to mention that I'm quite sorry for the camera quality. I don't have a camera and I'm not, I'm pretty sure no one's willing to give me a camera. So I'm sort of stuck with this one. And until I get enough money to get myself a camera, you guys are sort of stuck with it. So I'm sorry about that. Um, that's pretty much it about camera. Yeah. Okay, now we have gone on to the next step, which is injecting the evasion application. Now that is a temporary app that you will see on your device itself. All right, we're on part two out of two, and the temporary application is just there so it can pretend City is there and transfer the information. City will be installed in a later step where you click on the evasion temporary application on your device over here and I'll show you how to do that in a couple of minutes since configuring systems is the part that tends to take the longest. And if you're wondering what your device looks like, nothing really is happening. It's as if nothing is going on on your device, but really your device is hard at work doing a lot of things and configuring a lot of data. So be a nice person and don't unplug your device. Normal. So let's keep waiting, I guess. Better fucking be and now it will be rebooting the device so we're halfway through the process as you can see via loading bar and here's my device and it's rebooting let's see approximately how long that's going to take the reboot is should be very successful since it's a simple reboot nothing major is going to go on in this reboot but after this reboot some major things are going to go on so be careful after this process since you won't necessarily be able to just turn off your device and reinstall everything. If you make a mistake after this reboot, then you're going to have to restore your entire device. But hopefully all goes well since uh, usually everything tends to go well and I've read the comments of most people and other jailbreaks since so far I'm pretty sure every YouTuber out there has made a how to jailbreak video so far. So I've read their comments and most people have had quite a nice success. So from here it is, it has recognized the fact that my device is very close to turning on and it says, well, uh, to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new Evasion 7 icon, which you, sh you, which you should see on your second page. So let me go ahead and unlock my device. Let's see if our little Evasion icon has so showed up. There it is. It's right next to mail and moment of truth. Three, two, one, I'm gonna click it. Now, don't freak out if nothing happens. You are supposed to see a white screen. Sorry about that. And then it will reboot quite a few times. So let's go ahead and let that happen. And for this part, I'm going to leave my device on my screen, which is kind of annoying, but I'm gonna do it for the sake of you guys. So I'm working my butt off. So please leave a like. And of course, share and favorite and subscribe and all those things, you know, those great little buttons that people love to press. So amazing. All right. So my device is now booting upwards, booting upwards. There's a new one. No, it's just booting up.
All right, so we're very close to uh, completely being booted up. From here, if your device turns on, you have successfully basically jailbroken your iPod. So from here, Evasion tells you to continue. Please unlock your device. And from here, a bunch of things should happen. Basically, you should just stay on your little home screen. Nothing big should happen. And it says modifying root FS. Now, if you have a 5S, this may be a lot simpler. And because it just uploads a few files and it works out better, as I've seen before. But on an iPhone 4, it basically does a few more things and adds to the process. And afterwards, of course, as you can see right here, it reboots. And you're done. You have a jailbroken device inside of your hand that is untethered. You should be jumping up and down in your chair because I know a lot of people have been uh, screaming and asking for a jailbreak for so long. And yeah, now it's finally here. And I'm very excited because I'm going to be reviewing so many tweaks coming out. I can only imagine what they're going to do with things like Control Center and the new Notification Center. Things are going to be amazing. I hope you decide to subscribe and stay with my channel for the next who knows how long I'm going to be doing videos. And uh, yeah, thank you for being with me this year. This was a this jailbreak was a very nice Christmas present, I must say. All right, if you want to read exactly what it says, it says calculating offsets. This is quite the risky part inside of the jailbreak itself since everything's happening inside of the system and not your computer. So if something goes wrong, it's all good. All right, it is setting up patch packages. It is setting up Cydia. I hate my camera. It is continuing with boot, which basically means I am good. <sighs> You know, at one point, my channel symbol was not that little guy that you could see. It was the evasion symbol because I like their symbol so much. It just looks awesome to me. And if you're wondering, you can exit out of evasion on your computer because you are technically done. All right, let's reboot. Continuing with boot. And my device is about to turn on because it just vibrated and it felt weird because I'm not a big fan of vibrations, but can't really turn it off, can I? And there you go. When I unlock my device, I should see Cydia. And yeah. And there it is. Wow. This, this is pretty amazing, I must say. It took me 14 minutes and 9 seconds on my first try. I successfully jailbroke my iPhone 4 CDMA 8 gigabytes. And now it is preparing the file systems and it's going to ask you for a bunch of upgrades but i made this video as long as it should be and you probably have a jailbroken device and if you are jailbreaking for the first time all you have to do is upgrade the things that are necessary and watch my other videos and you should figure out how to use Cydia quite quickly or there's always google but really i don't need to show you all the little tiny things you need to do inside of Cydia. the main part is i showed you how to jailbreak it and uh, yeah i'm proud of it Thank you for watching. This is my second time ever doing a tutorial on how to jailbreak. It took me a lot of effort. Please leave a like. Please subscribe for more videos and tweaks that are soon to come up. And this is going to be me logging off.